be here. Guys, give it up for Joe Rogan's butt one right now. Give it up for him. <laughs> Guys, Brandon looks like when he asks a girl out and he tells her the date is BYOB. <laughs> Can we restart? You want to start there? <laughs> you don't want that to be the first thing they hear. Uh, <laughs> get up for Danny's. This is one of the best clubs in the city. Fucking for having us. Give it up for them. Great clubs. Uh, I want to do something with you guys. Knock, knock. Who's there? Katie. Katie. Thank you for helping me out with that. That was a... That was a... Uh, that was a reenactment of Katie trying to come inside of the club tonight. <laughs> You're like, I'm a headliner. And they're like, all right, lady. <laughs> Let me see your ID. <laughs> uh, so Brandon's favorite amendment is the Second Amendment. Uh, but that's only because that's the highest he can count to. <laughs> he actually recently uh, moved to a new neighborhood too, which is crazy because I didn't think you could rent the Chicago rat hole. <laughs> Katie came out as gay this year. Wild, you're the last one to know. <laughs> your pants are so high, we can all see your nut bulge, dude. <laughs> I mean, sure, I am gay. I eat pussy. Brandon just kind of gnaws at it. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Brand Brandon is from the South. Uh, when his doctor told him he had crabs, he thought he was going to a seafood boil. <laughs> Which is like, yeah, a lot of men give uh, uh, women the ick, but Brandon, uh, Brandon gives women the itch. Uh, Katie's uh, father's a very successful martial artist. <laughs> True. Your turn. No, no, no. <laughs> no, she taught. She taught her. Mar he taught her martial arts, so you could defend off uh, uh, the man you would eventually become. <laughs> are you taking steroids to become gay, or you gotta tell us? Uh, Brandon just doesn't like karate because he doesn't like watching black belts beat white belts. <laughs> Brandon was actually part of his uh, church's sketch group. Uh, yeah, he played the overly touchy youth pastor. <laughs> I think his line was, uh, forgive me, Father, but Jessica was looking super hot in her volleyball uniform today. <laughs> Glad you wore that shirt. Uh, <laughs> hit, hit those shoulders. Uh, <laughs> You like you go to Kohl's and ask for the predator section. So I don't know what you're talking about with outfits. That shirt looks like you went to Kohl's and bought it and didn't take the clothes hanger around. <laughs> <laughs> you, les you lesbian scarecrow. At least one of us has shoulders. <laughs> Uh, so, Brandon, uh, uh, every time Brandon gets whiskey dick, he just says, the South will rise again. <laughs> yeah, he's the one, he's so dirty, he's the one clans member that has skin marks on his sheets. As a hobby, all Katie does is open pickle jars to prove a fucking point. <laughs> and every single one of those pickles is bigger than your penis. <laughs> and turn it to the panel. Uh, let's see, Chris Grigo, what do you have to say? Uh, uh, sorry, Katie. Um, that was, I mean, listen, that was good. Brandon, uh, you, kill, you killed that very good. The close hanger line was very good. My first vote goes for Brandon for the first round. Okay, one you dominated, it's crazy. <laughs> Someone take the microphone, Max. <laughs> what do you? Um, yeah, say? yeah. Brandon dominated the round. Brandon, you do dress like a homeless guy. Just pulled it together for a job interview. Uh, <laughs> sorry, my parents don't pay for my clothes, Max. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Katie actually was really funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, Max. You look real nice. <laughs> No, yeah, Brandon won, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Kevin Kellum. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, Katie Kincaid really uh, taking a Lance Moore set seriously as a lifestyle. Uh, and 
and uh, God damn it, a fucking knock knock joke, Brandon. Jesus Christ. I never, I didn't want it to work when you started it, and then it did. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go with Brandon. Go with Brandon. Okay. All right, Keith. Oh, I'm sorry, Marcella. Oh, how dare you? Do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm uh, yeah, I mean, obviously Brandon got that, but I will, Katie, I'll give you this. I, I really appreciate those quick reports you were giving them. They were great. That was really funny. Keep it up. You could win this, bitch. Just fucking don't be scared. Sure. <laughs> there's, there's still a chance. There's still a yeah. fucking chance. Look, Brandon took that round, but I've fought Katie before. She's an absolute motherfucker. I know you have more jokes than that before, Andy. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We're, we're ready to go into round two, are we not? Okay, this yep. is when they get a minute each for just the, the whatever roast they want to say for as long as they can for one minute. Are you ready? Okay, we're gonna start. We're gonna start with Brandon since Katie went first. Brandon, are we ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Three, two, one, roast! Hell yeah. I, I love Katie. I do love Katie. I don't know if you ever seen her comedy. I got it's her, the thing. Your big bit is about if you've never seen her. It's about. Having two tampons inside of you and not noticing. <laughs> it makes me kind of crazy. <laughs> I'm like, that's your big joke? Like, uh, you're just implying that this, this, is, this is really big and nasty? And that's the, the funny part of the joke. I don't know why you guys aren't laughing. Uh, two tampons inside of you. Well, is it, I don't even think she took them out of the box, uh, to be honest. <laughs> I just don't, I just, you, you, it's big and nasty. Uh, yeah, your dad's gotta love that. Uh, what does he come to shows and be like, yeah, she's just like her mama. <laughs> like, I gotta be honest, you, I'll say this, you won't see uh, the migrants uh, being accused of eating that cat. Uh, <laughs> your gynecologist is just a plumber. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not even joking, this girl, your IUD's gotta be so big. Like, uh, it's gotta be at least $75 worth of copper. You know, like... <laughs> like, Katie padlocks it at night so the crackheads don't break in and strip it. <laughs> like... That's a minute. Oh, right? oh wait, no, I got, yeah, yeah, I got one, I got one stupid thing. I, I, yeah, yeah, I just, I don't know. I, if the crackheads come in, you're, you're martial arts, I figured I could make you some nunchucks. Like... <laughs> Look at that. You can defend them off. And worst case, if you lose them, you know these aren't the weapons that can ever defeat you. <laughs> all right, give it up for Keeper, everybody. Yeah. Drops it all. Oh, the minute is so weird. <laughs> yeah, it's torture for all of us. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Katie Kincaid, are we ready? Yes, we are. All right, ready? Three, two, fuckers. Three, two, one, roast! Oh, man, one minute of jokes. A good thing Brandon knows exactly how long one minute lasts. <laughs> so Brandon actually said that he uh, doesn't like to do a roast battle sober, uh, which is what uh, every woman says while fucking Brandon. <laughs> His 12-step program is just how many steps away he needs to be from a liquor store at all times. <laughs> His, uh, his girlfriend, he recently got sober too, and uh, his hands got the shake so bad he finally started making her come. <laughs> but Brandon, Brandon is divorced, if you can't tell by his everything. But uh, uh, yeah, this is what happens when you give a gargoyle a chance, okay? <laughs> But he's actually, he is dating a younger woman now. Um, she would be here tonight, but Zany doesn't offer childcare. <laughs> yeah, Brandon, how about you groom yourself before you start grooming others? <laughs> okay, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> All right. Panel. That was a that was two full. Dude, we got ourselves a battle. Let's that fucking go. Yeah. I knew you had it in you, Katie. Oh, crazy. that was that was awesome. I oh. thought it was close. <laughs> oh All right, come on. All right, Marcella, let's start with you. Um, huge pussy jokes. Come on, Rose. A room full of bitches with huge pussies. You're not gonna. She's talking to you about your stand up. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hair flop over here, had to bring out a prop just to make that shit work, and I, I gotta say, 
It didn't work for me. Uh, Katie fucking smashed it. I knew she had it in her. What the fuck? There we go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's like you used up all the likability that face can generate. Right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah, you, you gotta use those tampons on your asshole, dude. She just put her foot in it. Uh, yeah, let's go. I'm so excited for round three. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Chris Rico, let's hear it. Yeah, dude. I mean, I'm, I'm just very excited, uh, Brandon, the heel turn that you're making right now. I like now. it. I like it. I want to keep it honest. <laughs> they, hate you, they hate you right now? Yeah, yeah I like it. They I'm like cool. her because like it. it was really sad at the beginning. <laughs> and so you're, there's a comeback story happening. Let's see how this fucking third round goes. Hell yeah. I'm so sorry. Next Lawrence. Yes. I want someone to die tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hell yeah. It's funny, Brandon up top made like made fun of her joke. He was like, she does this joke where she talks about having a big pussy, and then he just did big pussy jokes for a minute. I wanted to see what it would be like to do that. <laughs> uh, I do better. Brandon, Brandon, you're a 40 year old man who ties your tampons together. has <laughs> got a year. I feel like that's the only time you're ever going to tie the knot. Uh, <laughs> I'm divorced. Now I'm being. Anyway. Um, so sometimes in the three rounds, it's like, oh, well, the second round was close, but we want to see a third round. But this is legit, like, Katie yeah. crushed you, so we're going to a third. Yeah. I'm really excited. Hell yeah. I wanted to th I want three rounds. Let's go. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, uh, Katie, uh, you proved in your comeback to him that your pussy is worth much more than $75. Uh, I mean, that is a grade A, clean, $96 cunt right there. I mean, that is... Yeah, this is a Kirkland signature cooch. Yeah, yeah, it loses value once it's off the lot. Uh, but... <laughs> Uh, but no, but uh, this like Kevin's head. Fucking <laughs> big, dude. There we go, big and white. Uh, but no, I'm gonna give it to Katie. It was hell of a. I enjoyed what Brandon was doing, but I think he got it. Katie wins the second round. How about that? It's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. We're going into the final round. Are we fucking ready, you guys? Make some fucking noise. like he doesn't care on stage, which like, Brandon, what are you, your father? <laughs> Brandon, he actually, he does have a comedy special called Toss Him because even he knows that belongs in the trash. <laughs> Brandon, it's hard because you look like the drinking problem that follows John Mulaney everywhere he goes. <laughs> which is the only way he'll ever be able to follow John Mulaney. <laughs> Katie's so, like, Type A personality, like dating you. I know if you, I went by to your house, you'd like show me a PowerPoint about how to make you to come. You know what I mean, like, and then she could just project it right there on that forehead. <laughs> uh, Brandon uh, said, told me he likes to watch anime, uh, which watching anime is how he refers to staring at Asian women on the train. <laughs> He's always talking about how he wants his happily ever after, which is just the uh, treatment he gets at the Korean spa. <laughs> I gotta be honest, that hairline, if you were one of my guy friends, I would take you aside and be like, hey, bud, I think it's time to shave it. <laughs> Katie, are you, are you hiding a cancer diagnosis from us? Here's the thing, no. Brandon, his, the crevice in his forehead is so deep that a labia is starting to sprout out. <laughs> Just make it have a clip in the center of his forehead, he still would not be able to find it. <laughs> little, little fact about Katie, when she was young, she used to be ugly, and now she's fine. <laughs> <laughs> little fun back up, Brandon. Uh, she is still ugly. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, hey, good news, uh, little, little thing. Uh, this is a big uh, night. Uh, this is the last year uh, Katie will ever be able to hold her weight that she's at. <laughs> All right, did that, I got you, I said it right. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be a good one. You know, and Brandon likes, he likes to insult women. He actually told me that his ex-girlfriend had a roast beef pussy, which Brandon, that's just the way it looked after you ate her out with your teeth. <laughs> wow, uh, Katie is from uh, Lebanon, Indiana, which is wild. I wish you were from the country so that make, we could make you cover your face and stop talking. <laughs> you could cover up that poor excuse of a jawline. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Brandon, uh, he's kind of a creep. Brandon has an <laughs> Brandon has Amber Alert notification set on his phone just so he can say smash or pass. 
Kay Katie, Katie thinks she's a seven, but I gotta be honest, it would take me seven beers for you to be a six. Like, <laughs> hey! I don't know if... Uh, <laughs> an ugly man and Brandon's girlfriend is in that phase right now. <laughs> Beer goggles, it's more like I would have to pour liquor in my eyes. <laughs> like... I used to date men. I dated my boyfriend because I loved him and I guess Brandon's dating his girlfriend because her dad didn't love her. <laughs> well, you could be the dad that loves her. <laughs> I would have the bigger penis so that would work out. Alright. Well... Katie looks like she'd be a teacher, you know, and go to like an urban area and be like, I'm gonna change him. <laughs> but then there's a world star video that comes out and it's just her crying with the kids be like, Miss Kit Katie looks like a man. <laughs> Brandon told me actually he's super in the skincare. By that I mean he is what comes out when you pull off that nose pore strip. <laughs> that one's for the girls. <laughs> Are we over? Yeah, Are we yeah, 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 All right, you guys, that was a fucking battle. <laughs> job. All right, we're going to find out who our winner is tonight. Let's start it off. Max Sorin. Man, again, really cool. One more time for these guys. That was... <laughs> it was really close. Katie, you had the crowd on your side. You called him creep, and it got an applause break. <laughs> you called him creep, and we're like, that's hilarious. That's so funny. He's so weird looking. <laughs> He looks like a normal person pressed their face against the window, you know? <laughs> Wait, the, beauty of, the beauty of it, too, was that we, she didn't need to say it. Yeah, yeah. We knew. We knew. We know. He's creepy. Um, but I think I, it, it started off Katie, but I think Brandon, you just got on a roll. The crowd wasn't with you, but your jokes were so strong that we laughed no matter we laughed either way. So for that, I got to give it to Brandon in the end. One for Brandon, you guys. Jim Dicey, Chris Greco. Yeah, this was uh, my favorite PTA scrap I've ever seen in my life. Uh, this was an awesome battle. I counted it joke for joke. This is for the title. Uh, Katie, uh, in the beginning, you had the father joke, John Mulaney joke, Asian women joke, and Amber Alert. Those all killed. Brandon, you had hairline, fine. <laughs> Lebanon and seven beers. Then you guys had an exchange where he went back and forth exactly with Brandon at the very end getting the win. And then after that, Brandon, you did the change them and the Miss Kincaid in the black kid voice. Can we edit that part out? <laughs> I'm cool with the rest. I'm gonna be honest, it stays in because that gives you the win in my book. Brandon, you get my vote. Brandon Keith. This looks like a porn where the guy walks by his stepdaughter stuck in a washer and goes, I'm gonna keep it pushing. <laughs> I, got, I got work to do. Um, fuck, man. Seriously, one more time for both of them. This was a great battle. I love to do drama back and forth. Like, I truly, through like most of that round, was not quite sure which way I was gonna go. Fuck that urban teacher joke, though. <laughs> that one, and I really like beer goggles, the liquor in the eyes. Uh, Katie, you have great stuff. I love you. That'll do, pig. But I have to give it. <laughs> I have to give it to Brandon. Fucking break my book. He's so good. Brandon! We gotta hear some final thoughts though, because this is a big moment, Marcella. I mean, I felt like you guys were falling in love. It was beautiful to watch. <laughs> it was just fun to watch. I think we all had a great time. You guys were fucking weirdos, and it was it was beautiful. And I hope you guys make it. I hope you make it work. <laughs> Kevin Kellum. Wow, this is Chapel Run versus Leonard Skinner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't like that the guy from Georgia used black children to win the battle. <laughs> Can we please edit that out? <laughs> He's just honoring his ancestors. This is real Southern Dixie and Katie had the dick. 
Uh, but no, I thought it was really great, but that deep water, that real deep swamp water you brought her into, Brandon, you, you pulled your fucking gator moves on her in the end, all right? And I'm going to give it to you. Katie, you gave him fucking hell. You gave him fucking hell. Time for a while. And give it up to our title champion. He is still the current holder, Brandon Keeper! Oh my God, great fucking job, you guys. This is this is the end of the show, everybody. Get the fuck off the stage. We're sitting here with Brandon Kiefer. How you doing? Current uh, retaining uh, roast battle champion. You now have one title defense under your belt, which isn't even a real belt, much to your chagrin. You're very, you're very, Brandon's very upset that we don't have a, a physical belt for him, which we're working on it. Stephanie was actually supposed to do that, but, you know. You can afford to use the word belt, but you can't get a fucking belt. How about pay the comics a little less and we buy a $40 belt from the internet? Can I buy it and you reimburse me? All right, back to whatever interview this is. Oh, man. Where was that in the second round of that? Holy shit. That was that was amazing, dude. That was that was pretty great. Can I ask you? You've done a, a bunch of three rounders now. You kind of did a combination of what I think is your. Tell me if I'm wrong about this. You like the prop aspect of the one minute round. You like the kind of like that weird angle, the ability to be kind of alty or do something different. But you didn't do that with Max. You did it big with your previous title fight. So this one, you did a combination. Do I have that assessment right? Is that you're like, hey, let me try to combine it a little bit with this one. The second round is terrible. I don't like it. I think it's nonsense. Uh, I think you can decide in one long round who won. Uh, I, I have now learned to throw away the second round because you will force it to the third regardless how well I do in the first round. So the second round is just me thinking, oh, well, it'd be funny to swing tampons. <laughs> and then I'll do, I'll get back to writing, doing the jokes that I wrote and care about. Yeah. Except for the IUD joke, which I'm sad I wasted it on the second round. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the second round is nonsense, and you've uh, forced it to the third round before, so I've now learned to throw the second round. Yeah. Number one advocate of Roast Battle Chicago, Brandon Kiefer. A big fan. Um... Yours, the big, he is legitimately the biggest fan. Uh, I like the heel turn that you made. Um, can, what was it like battling Katie specifically? Why, did you have to prepare for her differently than you did with Max Sorich? Oh, no. I wrote about 15 minutes before we got here. They were both easy to beat. <laughs> <laughs> Last thing. I was going to get out of here, but then the amazing Katie Kincaid Hello. walked up. Title defense. Hello. Dude, what a fucking slugfest. It was, uh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> That was fun. It was, uh, it was, I really didn't know where it was going. The audience, yeah, you just didn't know what they were going to like. Can I ask what it's like being up there? Because that first round, I mean, I mean, Brandon really dominated that first round. Mm -hmm. What's it like to have to regain your composure knowing you got potentially two more rounds left and right now the audience seemingly is completely on Brandon's side and to have that turnover? What's it like, like going into that second round? Did it change the way you were going to deliver your materi material at all? Yeah, well, it's also nice to see how he delivered his first because his was more like l like a little slower. I knew I kind of had like just back to back. Also, Brandon's just like so good at, at comebacks and like you say something, he like just completely knocks it off. So it's like the opportunity to just say all your stuff without any interruptions. And that was the one I was most like excited about. Mm -hmm. So it was fun. I uh, yeah, Brandon's the best. You had one of my favorite, like, pound for pound, like, tit for tat battle, like, uh, uh, exchanges right in that third round. Um, obviously, Brandon walked away with the victory, but you have been maybe the most active, like, battler in Chicago, and you did a, you did multiple tournaments this year. You did ours. Then you went out to Netflix as a joke fest and did that. Just can you, before we go, tell us a little bit about that experience going to the fucking finals of that. It was uh, it was crazy because it was a three day tournament and I I didn't think I was gonna make it, <laughs> so I was it was a lot of people like oh did you go anywhere in, in L A I'm like no I was holed up in some an apartment just writing 
Um, but it was great. It was so crazy. It was outside, which was a wild experience. Like so, be- Hollywood Bowl, right? Yeah. Um, it was uh, or the Hollywood Palladium. Palladium. Yeah. Um, but it was super cool. It was. It was just. It was. It was really cool to be there in person and. Um, yeah, it just felt like a, you felt like a little rock star. Awesome. Well, whatever they, them, you're on your way to fuck is very lucky. <laughs> Katie Kincaid, give it up for Katie for what a fucking great thing she did. <laughs> Katie, get the fuck out of here. It was good to see you. I, do you see how she blew me off completely? I shouldn't have made that joke. I was trying. I thought you were, I thought you were just- get the fuck out of here. That's, that's been it. That's behind the burden. Uh, bye, everybody. Thank you, Patreon members. Thank you. Bye.